Alright, what's going on? What's going on everyone? Connor and Shane. Guys, you know what? I just decided I woke up this morning and just wanted to make another video. This one a little bit of a market update, you know. Because if you guys have seen Bitcoin the last day, it's taken a nice little liquidation dump. And I actually want to pull the chart up and my face just disappeared. Hold up. But yeah, no, I want to show you guys Bitcoin here. You float on top. Because I want to make sure that you guys understand this and also for myself to go over it again is that you guys need to be wary of dips when it comes to this market. So I'm pulling this up right now. We got Bitcoin up on the daily. So, you know, from a perspective of where Bitcoin has gone, it has came up, had a nice retracement come up another retrace, come up another retrace, kind of leveled off, broke through, and it's come back up. You know, and with uh, something like this, you know, in my gut instinct has been telling me eventually that there's going to be some sort of dump, whether it's down here, and it continues. But I know a lot of people are looking at the dump, even just today, you know, they're zooming in, in my opinion, way too short term. A lot of people are looking at this right here. They're like, this is it. This is what we've needed. You know, and partially I do agree with that. You know, we haven't seen a literal like decent sized drop. What kind of drop was this? I'd say, yeah, around five, six <clears> percent. <throat> we haven't seen a drop like that heavy in a while. You know, but... Again, I look at the markets from usually a very, very long term perspective, like throughout this whole bull run going into it like or going into the having. I'm sorry, as of right now, you know, and I just want to put this out and say, like, this dump could just be really getting started, guys. I'm not saying that this actually is going to happen because, you know, there are a lot of people on social media that. You know, they, again, they think this might be the dump that we've been waiting for. But, you know, again, looking at the daily, even on the weekly, you know, you can kind of see when a dump is going to happen. Like, just check out on the weekly. You can see clear uptrend, clear retracement. Like, looking from a very, very long-term perspective, that, in my opinion, it's. I still think Bitcoin has got to come down a little bit at some point. But the thing is, is if it drops like that, <clears throat> I will not be selling most of my bags because again, the coins that I'm, I'm showing you guys, the coins that I invest in and that I find most of them I'm getting in and I'm, I'm telling you guys about at ground level, like floor level, um, levels. I, yo, uh, like I'm telling you guys at the ground floor of a lot of these projects, you know, I just talked about proof yesterday. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. So, you know, a lot of people might look at this chart and be like, well, yo, like what this chart looks horrible, dude. Like, why would I want to buy this right now? But mainly because it, it, it has had its launch. It's been kind of consolidating. No one's talking about it. And, you know, the product, the team, everything about it is just there. It's just undervalued because the volume, you know, there's 15 buys, 16 sells, you know, there's minimal volume on this pair on this coin right now. And it's, it just needs to get the, the right eyes for it to get the right attention. Like I, I really can see this pulling something. Uh, I don't know about any, any like short term move right now, but I can see this having a little move up continuing and eventually just going like this. This really could happen with proof here. But I think it's just gonna need some catalysts to really take it off. But again, with my channel, I'm focusing on more long-term holds than just quick trades. And that's another thing I want people to understand with that too. I love just finding coins and holding for, you know, a good amount of time, you know, before either taking some profits, rotating it into another coin, or if you just got the most full conviction just holding it from the ground floor into the whole bull run. You know, that's kind of, those, those right there have been my strategy for the most part. Um, but yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's just been doing its thing. Like, 
And like I said, just be weary that if you are very heavily exposed into certain assets right now, just understand that the market could come down. There could be another drop like pretty heavily. And that's what you got to keep in mind. And, um, you know, you got to program that into your trading system as of right now. Like keep it in your head that, okay, well, if I'm investing in a coin right now, I'm going to keep my risk under control. I'm not going to throw, you know, 25 grand into this one coin. And where if I lose this half of this right now, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pay rent for the next two months. Like don't play anything stupid like that. Just take into account that if you're buying certain assets at certain levels, that prices could come down substantially for a short period of time. But if you're okay with that and you're okay holding through a dip and you know that going into what you're buying, then you don't have to worry because again, you're kind of programming that this dip is already part of your trading plan with whatever coin that you're about to trade or invest in for the long term. You know, this is mainly what I wanted to get across for you guys here because I think it's key. It's key to have a plan with every single project you get into. You have to know when to get in and when to get out. And you have to understand with yourself, like the little miscellaneous things like this that could happen and keep those in the back of your head. Because then if something does happen, say a huge flash crash really dumps this, you know, part of your plan is you're still going to hold it. Just let the retracement play and give it a month and it's going to be back up. You know, I think it's important. I was going to, oh yeah, you know what? And um, Alex Becker actually, Oh, Z, was it ZSS Becker? You know, he just tweeted something, I think, legit this morning that I found pretty interesting right here. Yeah, so this is a this is a pretty interesting tweet that I, you know, I do fully agree with here. It's like, um, I'm trying to pull up a part here. Yeah, well, I don't think this bull is done. Know this. There's no science and reason that will let you safely call the end of this. Charts theories like this are all simple cope tools to let people to create an illusion of safety or certainty. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read this whole thing out just right here. But I'm going to bet on this factor. Bull crash. This isn't even a real bull crash, FYI. So if you're nervous here, you are, you are in for a lot of fun if the bull continues. But bottom line, he's talking about pay attention to dips like this pay attention to it and keep it part of your like risk with your strategy just you got to understand to let these dips play out and don't don't just sell because prices are down pretty heavily you know it's part of crypto if you're going to ride a full bull market to the upside holding through dips like this is legitimately part of the game Unless you want to be someone that, you know, you see a huge top, you sell here, and then you wait for like a minus 10% plus dip, you buy back in, and then you get and you ride the next move, which I honestly don't even do that most of the time. It, just, it depends on the project and how hard they move. You know, there's a lot of different things, but most of the time I'm just holding throughout whatever this bull run is. But again, you know, it's so interesting where it is though, because like this bull run has been booming like from december to now but we are still months away from the having even starting you know i just dropped a video on this stuff maybe oh just or maybe a week ago you know the same thing it's like most of these heavy pushes to the upside you know they, they didn't really start at this kind of scale until months after the having you know for like both of these past cycles so it's got me thinking like this is either going to be a legitimate super cycle. The cycle really has started or we're just in for a longer term, you know, potential moves until something takes off, you know. And I mean like some downside. But bottom line, if you guys got some info from this video, just keep your risk very safe, especially when it comes to times like this where Price has looked like it's been up only for a lot of time. And make sure you keep um, keep inside of your risk strategy that in certain areas like this, if a dip does come, make sure that you are programmed 
to hold through it or plan around a dip if it happens. You know, that's the most important part because like I said, you don't want to be aping into coins here and then in three weeks, you know, Bitcoin's down here. Your coins go from here down here, you know, in price. But if you're okay with that, that's what I'm that's what I mean. If you're okay with this and then you want to wait until alts go back up like that, then by all means do it. But you gotta understand going into the trade, what's gonna happen, or going into the investment. So that's kind of what I wanted to bring up today. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm just going to be dropping like a micro cap update right now because I know a lot of coins have just completely dumped and a lot of coins have kind of mooned over the last like day or two. So I'm going to drop that as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video.